We've been traveling all around the country now. It's been so much fun, you know, out in places like PE and, and Cape Town and East London and recently went to Durban, which was, which was a bit of a schlep for us. It was really hard because it was raining so much. And then, and then on, on top of the flight delays that you have to contest with, there's also like a overbooking, which is a problem, you know. I don't know if you know what overbooking is, but basically it's a, it's a, it's a legal process where, um, it's a practice rather, where, where airlines book more tickets than there are seats on the plane. So they book more, sort of like a taxi. <laughs> but then they don't let you get on when you get there. So they just hope you don't pitch up. He's like, please, please. <laughs> ah, yeah. He's like, you know, that's what they do. And so we, we flying down to Durban and it was the funniest thing ever. He's standing in the queue, everyone's all fidgety in the line, looking at their watches and they call us forward. They're like, next, next, please, next, next, next. So we go to the counter and there's one of those women there with her glasses and her relaxed hair and she's like, and then she's like, uh, can I have your ID, please? And you're like, IDs, everyone puts them down. She's like, where are you flying? And we're like, uh, uh, Durban, please. She's like, Durban. <laughs> Durban. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> are you flying now? No, tomorrow we just, it's a practice run. <laughs> Are you flying? And we're like, yes, we need to fly now. Okay. So just... And then she starts typing frantically. <laughs> which I never understand, because when I book my tickets, all I need to do is click. It's click, 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 click. Joe, Joe, ah, that one. Click, ah, duh, duh, ah, that one. Click, and then it does it all for, and then she's there. I bet she wasn't even busy doing our tickets anymore. She's just like there, clicking. She's probably on like Facebook or something there, <laughs> updating her status. Yo, another one, another one, monsieur. I'm dead, 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 dead. Another one, monsieur. Yo, dead, dead. You overbooking. Dead, dead. Oh, poke back. Dead, dead. You dead. Death by overbooking. Yo. Because of their faux pas, the airline is as kind as to upgrade us on the next flight to business class. They say, we're sorry about what happened. Here you go, business class. Oh, very, I love business class, you know? You get to go to a special lounge where everyone's very businessy, yes. <laughs> no, it is, it is. Because when, you, when you're in business class, you, hear, you overhear conversations and they, they, they sound totally different, you know? You overhear people saying things like, yes, well, the mergers are, are coming along. I mean, if you look at the companies that are, you know, people walking around, well, I mean, if the numbers are right, then we'll definitely get that stock portfolio going. And you got people walking there, you know, just, no, I mean, I'm in the kids of the situation to make sure that uh, all the shareholders are, are happy. And uh, then we'll present to management and it's going to be a, <laughs> a key installment of what, okay. You know, you just, you hear like businessy kind of stuff. Whereas when you're in economy, it's just like a huge group of people. You generally overhear conversations like, I thought you put it in the bag. You said you put it in the bag. What? It was on the table. I asked you to put it more. Why is it not in the bag? <laughs> oh, wow. And so we're going through the airport and and then we go through security. And I, I love security in South Africa. It is the most chilled out security you will find anywhere in the world. It is, like South African security is just like, you know, we work on an honesty system in this country, you know? The security guard, he's there to enforce, but it's more on honesty. It's like, look, this, this is, it's up to you. This is the honesty place. This is where we all, we, all, we all admit to our sins. Come forward, come forward. Do you have anything to declare? You know, it's that, that type of place. Overseas, when you, when you come through customs, it's the craziest thing ever. You, you gotta take off everything. You gotta take off your shoes, and you take off your belt, and you, you, know, you, you can't wear a jacket or a hoodie or a cap or anything. You gotta take off your rings and nothing, nothing, not even coins in your pocket. Even you got like a big filling, then you're in trouble. Then they, you know, and they'll be like, then you're like, but, 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 it's, but it's my teeth. And they're like, well, you're gonna have to do something. You're gonna, you know? And then like colored people are like, excuse me. Oh, yeah. That's great. Whereas in South Africa, I sometimes feel like these security guards don't actually know what their equipment does. You know, they're very chilled out about it. Because you walk through at airport security and you get there and the guy will be like, eh, go, number four, number four. And then you go through and you stand there and the guy will be waiting. He'll give you that bucket and he'll be like, eh, what's in the back? Like, what, what do you mean? In the, he's like, is there a laptop? <laughs> yes. Out, out. <laughs> Take it out. Laptop out. 
out. Please, yeah, put it by itself. Nah, put there, yeah. Any other laptop? You're like, no, 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 no. Laptop out. Like, okay, 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 okay. What did you do? <laughs> okay, there it is. Okay. And, and, and my gun? No, it's fine, it's fine. Just, <laughs> just the laptop. Yeah. Watching you. It's so much fun. And you walk through the metal detectors, which I swear either don't work or these people really don't understand them at all. So you walk through metal detectors, and it's not just at airports, no matter where they are in this, in this country. You walk through a metal detector, a casino, a school, government institution, you'll walk in there, and then it'll, it'll just, it'll make that sound, but then I don't know if they know what that means. Because you walk through and be like, beep, 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 beep. And you see how security guards smile, because they get ready, because they're gonna use the wand. They love the wand. You can see they wait the whole day, yes. My time has arrived. Excalibur, I call upon you. <laughs> it's like, what the hell is going on? Yeah, stand, just stand there, yeah. Pulls out his one, you know, those black ones, just pulls them out. And... <laughs> okay, it's not, I'm sorry, I'm just, <laughs> doesn't, doesn't really do that. It would be cool if it did the. <laughs> Although it would be weird, it would be weird. You know, for like some guy from the township to have a lightsaber. <laughs> Wouldn't, wouldn't work at all though, it wouldn't. Wouldn't, imagine. wouldn't be like Darth Vader, it would be like Braveda. Ah, Bravi! It would have been the worst Star Wars ever if it was in South Africa, wouldn't it? Like the critical point, the, the, the moment that made the movie would never happen if it wasn't a township in South Africa. Because which guy from the township would claim a child after that many years? Guy would be like, Look. Yes, what is it? No, look there, it's your father. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't, it wasn't. Okay, sorry, go. I, I digress. The one, the one, the one. Comes <laughs> sorry. Comes out with the wand. And they always do that thing, you know, they go around. And we don't know what it's supposed to do or not, you know? <laughs> Any weapons? What was that for? <laughs> Even if I had something, I'm not gonna tell you now. Obviously, you have been defeated. Any weapons? No? Oh, okay. And that's it. We like work on the honesty system in this country. Everywhere you go. Like, I'd like to meet the genius who invented the honesty book. Ah, oh, yes, the honesty book. Yes, the book of truth. No one can lie when they write in this book. Whenever you visit someone at a townhouse or office complex, we have the book of truth. Fill in the book before you enter. <laughs> name, ah, yes. Surname, <laughs> Phone number and address, reason for visit, PVT. <laughs> we'll just do that, look at everyone on PVT, 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 PVT. <laughs> PVT. <laughs> and once I asked the security guard, I was like, what's the point of this? Why am I, why am I filling in this book? He's like, no, it's for security reasons. <laughs> so I figured that much, but what is, what is it about? It's like, so that if you can do anything bad inside there, if maybe you can steal or kill someone, then we can find you. <laughs> ah, of course. Because I wrote my real name and surname. The honest killer strikes again. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. I was like, okay, and then I kill someone, and then what are you gonna do? It's like, then you sit there, we can just phone you and tell you, you must come back. <laughs> yeah. Same time. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can win cool prizes. And by prizes, I mean surprise. There's no prizes. It's a free YouTube video, you greedy. Just click the video, man. Why you want free things on free things?